Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this Lumi Grimmy Bee. Um, this is my original design and he is about the size of my palm and he does look like Craft Muse's um, Lumi Grimmy Tsum Tsums. Um, this is kind of the body pattern but I did switch it up a bit and I also took the wing design from her Winnie the Pooh, um, that Winnie the Pooh bee design, and yeah, so I'm very proud of these. They are about the size of your palm. They're um, squishy, and they're really adorable. And um, I'm gonna teach you how to make these today. So. Um, before we get into the video, though, I'd just like to say to go follow my Instagram. My Instagram is coco.mckenna. And I post pictures of what I make and stuff. So go follow that. And um, you also get sneak peeks on behind the scenes of me making videos. So that is pretty cool. But now let's get into the video. So you're going to need... Um, white bands for the wings or whatever color you're going to be using for wings and I'm actually going to make those first so you're going to need some white, you're going to need some yellow for the bee or whatever other color you're going to be using and you're going to need black for the stripes um, if you're going to be doing regular bee colors or you know you can do whatever colors you want to use but you're also going to need black for the eyes. So as you can see there are two wings these are pretty easy to make, so I'm just going to show you how to make them real quick. Oops. So, also you're going to need a nick, uh, whoa, not a, you're going to need a, um, crochet hook. I keep calling things for names. And you're also going to need a C-clip. So I'm just grabbing one. I have a big container full. But of S clips and C clips and I can't grab the right one. Oh. This is a C clip and I'm going to be using this as a stitch marker. So let's get started with the wings. You're going to take a band, wrap it around your hook three times, take another band and pull it through and then make a slip knot. And basically you're just going to be making a magic ring but you're going to take another band and pull it through onto your hook and pull it through everything. And then you're going to go back in and do that um, one more time. So that's one. Back in. Take the band, pull it through. Two. Three. Oops. Keep playing the bands everywhere. Four. And five. Um, I'm just realizing I didn't need to do that many. I was only doing four. Oops. So now I did one more. But for the wings, you're not going to need the C clip, so just leave the C clip alone. And for the first, you're going to get you're going to go into the first stitch and only grab the bottom half, and then you're going to go into the next stitch and only grab the bottom half again. And you're gonna take a band and pull it through, and make a stitch, and that is a decrease. So, for that first stitch, you're going to be doing a decrease, and for the next stitch, you're going to be doing an increase, which is two bands in that one stitch. And then you're going to do another increase. And then for that last stitch on our magic ring, you're going to do a decrease. And then you're going to tie it off. So you're going to go back into that last stitch, take a band, and pull through everything and tie a tight slip knot. And then you can go into the stitch next to that and um, take a band and do another tying off band. And that is first wing or yeah 
And then this is this, these are two bands are just going to be what you're going to use to tie it on. Um, I'm just going to quickly take off my sweatshirt because I'm getting really hot in it. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Oh, and yes, you're also going to need something to stuff your bee with. And I'm just going to be using this. Um, it feels like polyfill, but it's not exactly. It's just batting. It, you can use it the exact same way. So, Okay, so we're going to make one more wing. I'm going to do it on camera just because they're pretty quick and easy to make. So you're going to make a magic ring with six stitches again, like before. And I'm sorry if that wasn't clear. Yes, you have to use... You have to do six stitches in that magic ring. Um, So just like before, you're going to do a decrease for the first stitch. And then you're going to do an increase in the next stitch. And then another increase in the next stitch. And then you're going to do a decrease for your last stitch. And then, oops, oops, oops. And then lastly, once you finish your decreases and everything, you're going to go back, you're going to go into the stitch and take a band, pull everything on to it, and tie a slip knot. To finish it. Then you're going to go into the next stitch or a stitch next to that where you just tied it off and do another slip knot and pull it tight so that you can tie it onto the body. So now that you have two, you're just going to put these onto the side. And I'm just going to quickly make the eyes here to take. Um, put the white. You don't need any more white bands for the rest of this, but for the eyes, you're going to take two black bands and two yellow bands. So for one eye, you're gonna wrap around your you're wrap around you're gonna wrap uh, you're gonna wrap the black band around your hook three times. One, two, three. And then you're gonna take everything and wrap it again again. So you have a nice tight eye. Um I wanted to make these eyes tighter than my other eyes just because it looks a little bit more cute with the tight eyes, I think. Oops. And then you take a band and Pull everything through onto it and you can just leave that next to the wings so you're gonna do that again take a band wrap around your hook three times take everything and wrap it around again take a yellow band pull the eye onto the yellow band pull it on and then just put it to the side and now we can grab some yellow. I might have to end up go get more. Um, I think that's okay. But we're going to start the body of the bee now. And for that, we're going to use yellow to start with. And you're going to just make a magic ring with six stitches. So you should have magic ring with six stitches, and then you're just gonna grab your magic ring. I mean, not your magic ring. You grab your C clip and hook and attach it to the stitch around your hook. For the next row, you're gonna be doing increases all the way around, and that is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three,
bands per stitch. All the way around. With the increases so now you're going to take the C clip and put it move it up to the band around your hook and sorry I'm just gonna look at my instructions real quick that I wrote down for the next row you're gonna oh yeah and you should have um, nine stitches one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve oh wait actually no yeah you should have 12 stitches and then for the next row we're gonna do a stitch and then an increase with a total of 18 stitches so you're gonna do one band in this stitch and then two bands in the next stitch and that is stitch and then an increase so one stitch one band and two bands. Also, if I'm looming quicker than you, you know you can always pause the video if I'm going too quickly. One. So a lot of the time I'm going too quickly. So feel free to pause. Did I do? No, I didn't. Okay. And the last stitch you just did have, and then, oops, sorry. In that last stitch, just um, move your C clip up onto the band around your hook. And you should have 18 stitches, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And you have like kind of the full face now. But what I did was before I started going onto the black, I did one row around. So for the next row, you're going to do just. I got some more yellow. You're just going to do one whole row around with regular stitches. So all the way around and no increasing. Also comment down below if I should make an Etsy so shop because I would totally love to sell these to anyone that's interested. I have a lot of loomy like a lot. <laughs> So after I finish this row, I'm going to add the eyes before I do the rest of the body because I want to make sure that they line up correctly because for the first bead that I made the I didn't line the eyes up correctly and for this second one I did when I stopped the looming after I did the bit the first bit so just finish your regular stitches around I'm gonna move my C clip up to the band around my hook and then I'm just gonna go into the next stitch, take a band, and slip knot it loosely enough, um, like tight enough, but loosely enough so that I can undo it once I'm done with the eyes. 
So that's easy enough for me to do the eyes without worrying that it's all gonna undo itself. So I'm gonna take my first eye and just kind of see where I wanna place it. Uh, I'll probably put it right there and then one other right there. So when you're placing it, you're just gonna hook it through one side and hook it through another and then you're gonna slip knot it in the back so it stays in position. I'm gonna pull it tight enough, but not too tight so it does not snap the band. Just, oops, scissors, like that. And then I'm gonna do that again on the other side of also, don't know if you can hear that, but there is an airplane passing by, so sorry for that. Um, we're gonna do the, and place the eye on the other side now. And I think I put the eyes a little bit too close, maybe. I think, I think that's okay though. I'm not loving it, but I'm not hating it. So Okay. But yeah, you're just going to place your eyes and then slip knot them on. And that hopefully shouldn't be too confusing to do. And I have my eyes now. So now I'm just going to undo that slip knot very gently so don't break anything. And then for the next row, we're gonna take, put it back on your hook and we're gonna continue. For the next row, we're gonna use black. And you're gonna do two rows of black. But before we do it, um, I'm, we're gonna do a slip stitch so that it looks like our colors aren't seamless. So that means taking the band through the stitch and the band that's around your hook and hooking that on and doing a slip knot. That is a slip stitch so that looks pretty seamless and that it doesn't look like anywhere that, I don't know, it just doesn't, it looks more better when you have the slip stitch, so. But now you're gonna do two rows of regular stitches all the way around in black. And again, I'm sorry for the airplane noises if you can hear that. I've been getting a lot of requests lately. Um, I'm trying to learn some new patterns and trying to make my own patterns up. So please be patient with me if you haven't seen your tutorial out yet that you've requested. They will be coming out soon. I've just been kind of busy and yeah. Okay, so I finished my first row of black. That means you're just gonna move your C-clip up to the band around your hook, and you're gonna do one more row of black, and you're just gonna do regular stitches. This bee doesn't take too many bands, so you shouldn't be too worried. I don't have an exact band count just yet, but I should have one coming out soon. I'm trying to calculate it, so. Yeah. Remember to pause the video if I'm going too fast for you because I do tend to go quite quickly with my looming. So yeah. Okay, 
So once you're done with two rows of black and you did not do any increases or decreases during those two rows, you're gonna switch back to, oops, sorry. You're gonna switch back to yellow for two rows and you're gonna do you're just gonna do two rows of yellow and no increases or decreases, just regular rows. And you're gonna do a slip stitch so that it looks seamless in the beginning. Oops. What happened? I'm just trying to fix my sequin. Okay, so you're gonna do a slip stitch, so pull the band through that stitch and everything on your hook, and then just do a slip knot. And then you can just start looming. But regular stitches all the way around. And I know at Michaels they don't really sell regular yellow rubber bands. Um, so try to find regular yellow if you can. Because the neon yellow doesn't look too good with the black. Because normally don't they don't sell regular yellow at Michaels which is kind of weird, but. <laughs> also comment down below if you ever wanna see a My Lumi Groomy collection because I have a lot of things and I'd love to show you guys all of them. Okay, so you're gonna move your C-clip up once you're done with that first row of yellow, and then you're gonna do one more row of yellow with regular stitches. And you're gonna start stuffing it soon, so get your stuffing ready. Also, I appreciate all the comments that I've been getting on my videos saying thank you, like this, this video has helped so much. Um, I really appreciate those comments. And yeah, thank you. Um, I'm almost out of yellow here. So I might have to go get one more. I'm gonna pour the rest of it out, I think. And then I'll move the bag, oops. I'll just throw the bag away. But hopefully I have enough yellow for this so I don't have to get up and go get more. Okay, so once you finish that lot, the other, the second row of yellow, you're gonna just move your C clip up, and it should look something like this. For some reason, mine looks a little bit smaller, but that's probably just because I haven't stuffed mine yet. Looks smaller than the ones that I've already made, but that is okay. Bees should not be too big because, I mean, they're bees and they are not that big in real life, so. <laughs> but anyway, we're gonna do one more. We're gonna do, sorry, not two, one more. We're gonna do two more rows of black, and then we are almost done with the bee, which is exciting because this bee is so cute, and you'll have a bee of your own. So, you're gonna do a slip stitch again, and so you go into the first stitch and grab the black band, pull it through, and pull through the stitch on your hook, and just tie a slip knot. Then you can just start 
doing regular stitches around in black. And reminder, you can literally use any colors for this tutorial. You do not have to just use regular or black and yellow for the B. You can use any colors, be creative. I mean, it's your creation. So yeah. You can't exactly see my hands. The camera's like above where I'm working, and I can't exactly see it. Oh, I'm not like looking through the camera. I'm just kind of holding the camera over where I'm working. Also, I think I got a question of where I got my camera stand at. I got it off of Amazon, and I don't exactly know what it is called. I just got it off of Amazon because I use my iPad to film. I don't have like a phone. Like I do I'm right here, but I don't use my phone to film because it's too small. I like my iPad because it gets all the details. So I finished one row of black. Now you're going to do one more. And just do regular stitches around again. And again, if you need to pause the video, just pause the video if I'm going too quickly. I am definitely one of the quicker loomers out there, but you're not that quick. It's perfectly fine. Just pause the video. And I'm sorry if you can hear the airplane in the background. I'm sitting right next to a window. <laughs> Band and it's just not working. Okay, so you're gonna move the C clip up. Oops, it's stuck. Oh no. Uh oh. Okay, so I'm gonna move the C clip up to the band around my hook and. Um, at this point, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do one more row of so you're not gonna do any more black. We're finished with the black for the rest of the video. I'm gonna grab my yellow and you're gonna do one regular row. You're gonna do. One last regular row of yellow. So you're gonna do a slip stitch so it looks seamless. And then you're gonna just do regular row round one last time of yellow. Almost done. Okay. 
okay? So, once you are done with that row of yellow, you're gonna just attach your C-clip to the band around your hook, and then you're gonna go into the next stitch and just kind of do a tight but loose slip knot so that you can attach, we can now attach the wings. So that's good. So I'm just gonna do it like this. So you're gonna grab your wings. I'm just gonna go into the top over here and stick my hook through. Grab the wing. Oh no, that just broke. Oopsies. I'm gonna need to fix that before I do anything else. Let me just fix that real quick. My tying off band broke. So I'm just gonna fix that. Okay. So, there we go. I'm gonna just quickly attach the wing now. And so you're gonna pull one side of it, and then you're gonna pull the other side of it. And make sure that your wing is facing the direction that you'd like. And here I want them to be facing like, like I don't know, like that, I guess. So that's what I'm trying to do. And then, oops, sorry, I just dropped that really loudly. You're just gonna tie one knot, and then you're gonna double knot it. So it stays nice and secure and just there. Then you're gonna go, oops, my slip knot band is undoing itself. Then you're gonna go into another thing next to it. I'm gonna do a tie in the other way so that it looks like the wing. And you're gonna pull one side through and then you're gonna pull the other side through. And then, I'm just gonna make sure that looks right, okay. And then you're gonna do one knot and double knot it so that it stays nice and secure. And now you have the wings. And it looks super cute, I'm really glad. It looks really cute so far. Now I'm gonna start adding some stuffing that it will um, look nice and stuffed. Don't overstuff it, but stuff it enough so that it is nice and squishy. Oopsies. And you can just play with it a little bit if you need to. And but we're almost done now, so I'm just gonna undo that little that loose slip knot that we did so that we could attach the wings. And for the next row, we're gonna do a stitch stitch and then a decrease, so two regular stitches and then a decrease, and you're gonna be doing this in the main body color, which for me is yellow. So stitch, stitch, and decrease, stitch, Decrease one stitch, stitch, and decrease. Oh no. Okay. Stitch, stitch. 
and then your last stitch should be a decrease, I think. Oops, excuse me. And then, once you're done with the row, you're just gonna move the C clip up, and another airplane is passing by. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Yeah, we're almost done. For the next row, we're gonna do a stitch and then a decrease. So, stitch. <clears throat> stitch and then you should have a last for your last um, stitch you should have the decrease and then you're just going to move your C clip up and we're going to stuff the B a little bit more because um, it's still, there's still some room for some stuffing, so I'm just going to take the, the rest of my stuffing and just kind of stuff it in and stuff it until it's to your liking. That is good for me. And now, I think I have enough bands. I hope I do. Um, I have a couple other little bands that I found next to me. That should be enough for me to close it off fully. But you're just gonna decrease until it closes up completely. You're gonna decrease until you have no stitches left. I'm just going to remove my C clip at this point because I mean, you don't need to really count your stitches anymore. Oops. It's hard to, to decrease like this. Hmm. All right. So I'm done with my decreases. Now I'm just going to go in to the next stitch. And I'm going to grab a band and pull everything through on my hook. And do a slip knot. And then, lastly, you're just going to tuck that band in. Oops. I'm gonna tuck the band in and just makes it look a bit cleaner. And that is it. That is how you make a Moon Grimmy B. And I hope you liked this tutorial. Um if you have any requests, remember you can comment them down below. And um, yeah, remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel for more, and 
go follow my Instagram, Chloe.McKenna, to see whenever, um, oh, Coco, oh, sorry, <laughs> just go follow my Instagram, I will have it in the description below, and, um, you, um, also, if you end up making one of these adorable Lumi Gurmi bees, tag me in it, and I will post it on my story. So, yeah. See you guys next time. Bye!